This is a video on the directional derivative. The question states, find the directional derivative of the function f of xy is equal to y over x at the point 4 comma 1 in the direction of the vector negative 1 comma 4. So we need our main key formula for directional derivatives. And that states that the directional derivative in the direction of a unit vector of a function f of xy, or du of f of xy, is equal to the gradient of that function f of xy dotted with that unit vector u. So let's start by finding the unit vector. We're given the vector v, let's call it, which is negative 1 comma 4, and that's not a unit vector. So we need to find the unit vector in the direction of the vector negative 1 comma 4. To do that, we start by finding the magnitude of this vector. And the magnitude of a vector is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So we take the square root of negative 1 squared plus 4 squared. And that's the square root of 17. Once we've found the magnitude of the vector, to find the unit vector in its direction, we just divide by that magnitude for each component. So what we get is that u is equal to negative 1 divided by the square root of 17, comma, 4 divided by the square root of 17. There's our unit vector u. OK, the next step is to find the gradient of f at xy. And to do that, those are the partial derivatives of the function f at x, y as a vector. So let's find the derivative of f with respect to x. Well, that's the constant over x, which is the same as a constant times x to the negative 1. And the derivative of a constant times x to the negative 1 is negative that constant times x to the negative 2, or negative y over x squared. Now let's find f sub y, and that's the derivative with respect to y of f. And f is y over a constant, because x is now thought of as a constant. And the derivative of y over a constant with respect to y is just 1 over that constant, or 1 over x. So there's my gradient. We want to be at the point 4, 1. So let's plug in x equals 4 and y equals 1. So I do that. And if we have y equals 1, x equals 4, that's negative 1 over 4 squared, or negative 1 16. And then for the second coordinate, we take 1 over x, x was 4, that's 1 over 4. So we can say that the gradient of the function f at the point 4, 1 is equal to the vector negative 1 16, 1 4. Now let's just put everything together. We're going to dot our gradient with our unit vector, and we do that. So that's du of f of 4, 1, that's what we want, is the dot product of negative 1 over root 17, 4 over root 17, dotted with negative 1 over 16, 1 over 4, and just dot that. And when I dot that, I got the square root of 17 over 6. And I'm done with the problem.